Hello, my name is Josh Kosa, and I'm a respiratory care practitioner from sunny Southern California with a passion for teaching the art and science of mechanical ventilation. First off, let me welcome you to the mechanical ventilation course. In this course, I will teach you my tips and tricks on how to start your patients on mechanical ventilation and how to optimize those settings once they're on it and how to wean them when it's no longer necessary. Now, Lots of clinicians are afraid of touching and adjusting the mechanical ventilator. And when I started out, I was too. But it's really not that complicated with the right training. So after attending this course, you'll know about the essential physiology, the ideal settings, the pearls and pitfalls that will help your patients survive, recover, and thrive. In this course, we'll cover the need for mechanical ventilation, the modes of mechanical ventilation, and the art of adjusting the mechanical ventilator to your patient's needs. We will also discuss several methods of weaning that you'll be able to apply immediately. So this course is perfect for beginners with little to no prior mechanical ventilation training. And it's also ideal for those who are already experienced and who just want to brush up their skills in fine tuning the ventilator. So whether you're a student in need of fresh supplemental material to help you in your studies or a licensed clinician zoning in on several key concepts to help you in your practice, this mechanical ventilation course will prove to be a significant help. So this course is broken into five chapters. Chapter one covers the what and why of mechanical ventilation as well as initial settings and initial modifications. It will give you tools to help you survive your first night with a patient on a mechanical ventilator. Chapter two introduces us to the essential monitoring parameters that will then help us fine tune ventilator settings in patients with an obstructive airway disease. In chapter three, you'll be introduced to the mechanical ventilation strategies currently implemented to help protect the lungs in ARDS patients. Chapter four addresses the screening and the weaning strategies to help us assess for extubation. And lastly, chapter five is a special considerations chapter that is unique to upper airway swelling and neuromuscular weakness. Each chapter comes with a quiz and case scenario that will help you internalize and solidify your newfound skills and knowledge. So that's five chapters, over 30 dynamic, easy to follow lessons, and one goal, learning the essentials of mechanical ventilation. I spent years learning and teaching mechanical ventilation. I've attended countless courses and read hundreds of books and papers on mechanical ventilation and have put the nuggets and pearls of what I know into this course. So, with the help of this course, you don't have to go through the pains I did and can become a mechanical ventilation expert much faster. So enjoy the learning experience and I'm looking forward to seeing you inside.